Today's medicine of the week is cyclophosphamide. Cyclophosphamide, a potent alkylating agent, exerts its pharmacological effects through a unique mechanism of action. Once administered, it undergoes hepatic metabolism to form its active metabolites phosphoramide mustard and acrolein. These metabolites alkylate DNA, leading to crosslink between DNA strands, ultimately disrupting DNA replication and transcription. Cyclophosphamide acts in all phases of the cell cycle, therefore it is considered a cell cycle nonspecific agent. Cyclophosphamide finds extensive use in various medical conditions, including malignancies such as lymphomas, leukemias, and solid tumors such as breast cancer or bone and soft tissue sarcomas. Additionally, in lower doses, it's employed in the management of autoimmune diseases like systemic lupus erythematosus, rheumatoid arthritis, and vasculitis. Moreover, cytophosphamide is a cornerstone in conditioning regimens for hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. Cyclophosphamide can be administered orally or via intravenous infusion. Following oral administration with bioavailability up to 90%, cyclophosphamide is rapidly absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract and undergoes hepatic metabolism by cytochrome P450 enzymes, primarily by CYP2B6 and CYP3A4, to form its active metabolite. Importantly, Cyclophosphamide and its metabolites are excreted primarily through the urine and those adjustments are necessary in patients with renal impairment. Also, monitoring of kidney functions is necessary during the therapy. The most common adverse reactions include myelosuppression, leading to neutropenia and thrombocytopenia, especially in high-dose therapy. Cyclophosphamide usually causes alopecia starting two to three weeks after starting therapy. This side effect is not permanent and usually resolves after the end of treatment. However, some quality aspects of new hair may be different. Bladder toxicity in the form of hemorrhagic cystitis, dysuria, and increased urinary frequency occurs in 5 to 10% of patients. Time of onset is vari variable and may begin within the uh, first uh, 24 hours of therapy or may be delayed for up to several weeks. Ura protection with mesna in hydration must be used with high dose therapy to mitigate bladder toxicity. In women before menopause, therapy with cyclophosphamide can lead to amenorrhea ovarian failure and the sterility may be permanent. Co-administrations with doxorubicin, for example in the case of neoadjuvant treatment of breast cancer, may increase the risk of doxorubicin-induced cardiotoxicity. Cyclophosphamide metabolism may be affected by concomitant administration of drugs that induce or inhibit cytochrome P450 enzymes. For instance, potent inductors such as phenytoin may accelerate its metabolism and therefore increase the rate of metabolic activation of cyclophosphamide to its cytotoxic metabolites. Cyclophosphamide increases the effect of anticoagulants, though thus the dose of anticoagulants may need to be decreased depending on the coagulation parameters. In conclusion, cyclophosphamide is a vital therapeutic agent utilized in treatment of various malignancies and autoimmune diseases. The action of cyclophosphamide is based on cytotoxic active metabolites created in liver. Hydration and neuroprotection is needed to prevent bladder toxicity and premenopausal women should be aware of potential sterility after treatment. Do not forget to monitor coagulation parameters in patients with anticoagulation medication. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has provided valuable insight into the pharmacology of cyclophosphamide.